Every stone on Temple Square is a sermon to pioneer ingenuity, and this small arch located in the west wall surrounding Temple Square is no exception. This arch marks the place where part of City Creek was routed through Temple Square. When construction began on the temple and the various tabernacles on Temple Square, the pioneers turned a portion of City Creek to flow from North Temple Street through Temple Square along the north side of the tabernacle. Some people have suggested that for a short time after the tabernacle was completed, a water wheel was placed in the creek to help pump air into the magnificent tabernacle organ, but no evidence has been found documenting the use of a water wheel to power the tabernacle organ. Originally, the pump had to be worked by hand until the advent of electricity. Many people have assumed that when the, the wall was built, leaving an archway that we can be seen on the west side of the square, that that reflects City Creek running through the square. But the City Creek would never have fit through that, that opening as anyone who's seen the creek in the springtime but that would have been a drain to drain the water out of the different uses because there were public works uh, factories uh, on the square. There was a foundry, blacksmith shop, various things that used water from City Creek. And they apparently used the old bed of the creek as a drain through the square. In 1914, City Creek was moved underground along North Temple Street where it flowed west of the Jordan River and eventually reached the Great Salt Lake. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.